Hello guys and welcome to the follow up on the previous AB cap video. So as it was requested for today I decided to test a higher level area. So I prepared for today Pilaco Jail. And to not get again into the same details about how the test works, I'm going to have at the end of this video and in the description linked the previous video if you want to check the details for the test. The only things that I'm going to mention are uh, stuff that I did wrong on the previous video. So there are a few things that I forgot to mention like for example the ruler that I use on the screen is resized at 75% so it's not exactly real millimeters. And also I did uh, say throughout the entire video previously that those were centimeters but in fact the maximum HP bar on monsters is 17 millimeters. So that's one of the bigger mistakes that I made the last time. And also it was pointed out that I should have used the bigger HP bar on the top of the screen. But the reason why I'm not using that one is because sometimes, especially for this video, the mob that I am going to test is not really shown on the HP bar on the top. Because that one shows the mob that you are currently looking at. So it's not always the mob I want to test. Now, with this all out of the way, this time I decided to test every AP value 20 times. And that's mainly because here at Pilaku Jail, I don't seem to have enough accuracy to get the same result every single time. So I had to test every value 20 times to see what was the maximum uh, damage I could do if all of my hits would actually land on the target. So to get started with the first value, I obviously started the test at 235 attack power, which is the maximum value I can get, and I'm going to have all of the 20 tests run in the background. Out of those 20 tests, uh, only 2 of them turned out to give me the maximum uh, damage that I can make. So the test number 5 and the test number 17 are the ones that have the maximum uh, damage values. Also, I should point out, if it's not obvious already, that the mob that I used to test the AP values is the Frenzied Executioner. Now, since I did take the time to actually test every AP value 20 times, even though only 2 or 3 of those tests have the maximum potential of damage, I'm still going to take all of them into consideration and make an average at the end of the videos that play on the background. So for example if you have the same amount of accuracy then you can see about an average of damage that you can make at Pilaco Jail. Now since I don't want to make the videos on the background play too fast and I don't have anything else to say for now, I'm going to leave you guys with a moment of silence until the videos are done playing. So the result for now is that I tested a total of 31 different monsters at 235 attack power and the damage that I could do on them is enough to leave them with 58% maximum HP, so about 10 out of 17 millimeters on that ruler. That is the maximum damage I could do with this 100% crit rate skill. And if I take all of the 31 monsters into consideration and I make an average out of their HP, then the average damage is about 12.58 mm out of 17 left, so a total of 73 or so percent HP. 
Moving on, the next AP value that I tested is 202 attack power, because I wanted to see if I uh, get some accessories off and I get only about 200 attack power, if I can still do the same amount of damage or if that uh, 30 or so extra attack power actually makes such a big difference at Pilaku Jail. So again the 20 videos will be playing on the background and with 202 attack power the maximum damage that I could do is 10.5 out of 17 HP. So it is almost as good as 235. For every attack value test, I tried to make sure to have at least two values that uh, show the maximum damage. So in this case, the uh, test number 6 and number 17 were the ones that had the most damage, which is 10.5 out of 17 millimeters. So the other tests again will be counted as an average damage. And since again there is nothing else to say, I'm gonna see you guys after the 20 tests are done playing. So the result of these 20 tests is that as I said I got a total of 10.5 out of 17 millimeters as maximum damage. And if I take all of the 27 monsters into consideration then the average damage that I did is 13 out of 17 millimeters. So the total damage is about 61.76% uh, HP left and the average damage is about 76.4%. 47% HP left, which is not really that much of a difference comparing to the 235 AP value. So I lost about 32 AP and I'm still doing about the same damage, or at least it is very close. Now moving on, the next AP value that I tested is 171 attack power, because I wanted to see if the damage stays consistent even if I drop below 200 attack power, because in my opinion no one would actually come to grind at Pilaku Jail if they have under 200 attack power. So I wanted to see if 171 is actually enough to grind at Pilaku Jail if you actually have enough accuracy. So these videos on the background again are the 20 tests for 171 attack power and I'll see you guys after they are done playing. So the results. 
To put it short, basically again the difference is about 0.5 millimeters more. So the maximum damage that I did is about 11 out of 17 millimeters, which is 64.70 percent HP left, and the average damage is 13.63 out of 17. So it is pretty close to the previous test, and it seems like the damage is constantly changing by about 0.5 millimeters if I remove 30 attack power. At this point I am not really sure if the other values were worth testing but the next AP value that I tested is 151 because I wanted to see if I go even lower on attack power if the damage difference stays consistent and again the 20 videos in the background are the 20 tests that I did and I will see you guys after these 20 videos are done playing to talk about the results. So let's talk about the results. This time I admit that the difference is a little bit bigger, because I was expecting to get 11.5 out of 17 millimeters as maximum damage, but I got 12 out of 17. So the difference is uh, by 1 millimeter instead of 0.5, comparing this to the 171 AP value. On the other hand, the average damage didn't really change that much, because it is pretty close to the previous value, this time being 13.9 and the last time it was 13.6 out of 17. So the average damage is pretty close and that's probably because I have the same accuracy as I had the last time. So with my accuracy I am missing quite a lot of hits on the mobs and that's why probably the average damage is pretty close every time to the previous value. Now for the last AP level that I decided to test, I went all the way down to 118 just like on the previous video. And I want to say that this is only intended for testing because no one who has that low attack power would actually come here to grind. Because if you are around 120 or so attack power then chances are you don't even have enough defense power to grind here. But I'm still going to test this one because I wanted to see if the damage difference difference stays consistent. So with nothing else to say for now, I will see you guys after the videos are done playing.
So we are finally here with the results for the last test. At 118 attack power, the difference seems to be pretty much consistent with the one at 151, because the maximum damage again got up by 1 millimeter and it is at 13 out of 17, and the average damage got up again by 0.3 millimeters at 14 out of 17 millimeters in terms of HP at that uh, ruler or on that ruler. So, as a conclusion, I can pretty much say that the damage difference seems to scale about the same way as it did on my previous Sosan's test. Because, at least as a wizard, from what I can see, once you get over 170 or so attack power, then you're better off going for accuracy accessories or just find a way to stack more accuracy. Because, at least on higher level areas like Pilaku Jail, you need need a lot of accuracy and the attack power doesn't seem to make that much of a difference. Like for example if you have 200 attack power then you're pretty much better off going for accuracy instead of stacking even more attack power. At least that's the case for my wizard, because from what I can see, once you get over 200 attack power, you're pretty much better off to stack accuracy, because in PvE, 170 or maybe 200 seems to be enough, and the only reason why I would stack even more attack power is purely for PvP. The AP scaling might be better in PvP, but I obviously didn't test that in this video. And to be honest, I don't know if I ever will test the same thing in PvP. But I suppose that's about all for this video. So I hope you found this video helpful or maybe funny or maybe just uh, you liked it in general. And if you did, then I hope to see you guys next time.